Hey, Ellen. What now, Chris? Ellen, we're in an orchid greenhouse. We are, but we're at, not looking at orchids. We're not. We are at Floricultura in uh, a little south of Salinas, technically speaking. Uh, middle of nowhere. Farmland, California. But it's a big, big greenhouse. So big, they ca they've got cranes flying overhead carrying hundreds and hundreds of orchids. That is the biggest greenhouse crane I've ever seen. Uh, but we're not here to look at that fun stuff. I'll no, save that don't, for later. Don't do that. We're here to look at plants, and we're looking specifically at Beacon Camp. That's where we are. Their 2019 spring trial. We and uh, the first thing we're going to look at is dahlias. We've lots seen a lot of, and lots of dahlias. <laughs> we've seen a lot of dahlias this year, Ellen. Why is that? I don't know. Well, partially because next year, 2020, is the the oh, uh, that's year, next year the year of the dahlia. Uh, according to the National Garden Bureau. So they're getting prepared with new varieties sure like Medio Fun Pink Bicolor. Now, fun the, indicating what? A fun indicates fun colors. Fun colors, bi -colors, colors. novelty colors. Mm -hmm. the, the, the pink bicolor, this one is interesting in that you get a lot of white and you get, that flower's getting a little bit old, but you notice how you get like splotches of pink. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. so it's very different, variable. Different type of bicolor. Uh, there's a pink eye improved right yeah. next to it. Medio is their four to five inch pot size. Now Correct. if you want something larger, <clears throat> you step up to grande. grande. Uh, nothing new here, but lots of test varieties yeah, yeah. Most across of these here. Are. Uh, there's kind of a deep, rich purple. We've got a pretty orange uh, single up there. A couple yeah. more over this side of things. A bright yellow, another big one there. So lots and that's coming. And Majori, though. Majori's are that's even, even bigger. like eight-inch pot size. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on in dahlias. Now look at this. This is a new crop for Beacon Camp. Calanchos. That's right. And uh, they've got several series. This is the Diamond Series. These actually come from uh, Slykerman, which is a Dutch breeding company specializing in calanchos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, Beacon Camp has partnered with them That's right. for the North American exclusive. Is that correct? I believe yes, that's what on, I Yes, on calanchos. Right. So the Diamond Series is singles and doubles. Correct. Now for a really nice, interesting new Calancho series. Let's take a look at the uh, Serenities here. These are all doubles, also from uh, the same breeding company, but these are sports from one parent plant. And uh, what does mutations. that mean, Chris? It means tremendous uniformity. Exactly. Every one of these grows the same height, as you can see, blooms at the same time, as Dan Himes would confirm. He's right behind us over there. And, um, and have really pretty flower colors. Yeah, they said 15 colors. 15 colors. In fact, I like them when they're not in bloom. I just like these little buds. Well, the buds have so much color, and then yeah. when they do open it, and everybody knows Calancho is one of the most value-filled houseplant yeah. you can have. I mean, they last for months. So that's uh, the Serenity series of Calanchos, new to Beacon Camp. Now, some of their existing things, we're going to skip poinsettias because we no. cover those in uh, okay. November. But uh, how about a nice spring plant right here, Ellen? Beautiful. Fuchsia. That is fuchsia. Bella is their series, and Maria is the specific variety, which has uh, beautiful um, fuchsia, fuchsia colored. <laughs> <laughs> uh, petals up here in a nice uh, kind of a skirt. lavender, mid-lavender colored skirt hanging down there. So that's uh, fuchsia, Bella. Around the corner, we've got some uh, petunias. Right. This is their their T series, and I ask, I always ask, why do they name something something? And I asked uh, Sarah Kitt, uh, why name a T? And she says, I like tea. <laughs> and there are so many varieties of tea, and we have so many varieties of petunia. For instance, uh, magenta vein, that's which the is new right one. up there, Janzi. That's their their new one mm -hmm. in the in the teas. It's one of the nicest logos I've seen in a long time. That's pretty. Yeah, get a zoom in on that. And the last thing we're going to show, we'll parade ourselves through to the end of their uh, their stand here, their display, uh, into begonias, which are apparently what dreams are made of. Yes. <laughs> they do a lot of begonias. In fact, that's what Beacon Camp is best known for. As you can see, a big selection of dreams. And what it's Ellen was one. just caressing there is part of their BK collection, which means what, Ellen? Uh, not Burger King. It means Beacon Camp. <laughs> Bred by Beacon Camp from their yeah, own breeding. That's exactly. Esme. Peach. I like that one. 
That's right. And then two, two more uh, over new here. Bovillias, which are their um, Boliviensis types. Mm -hmm. Dark salmon and a beautiful hot pink. I like that one as well. So that is, uh, gosh, begonias, petunias, a fuchsia, and new calanchos, and dahlias. Oh, and by the way, we said uh, 2020 was the, uh, the year of the dahlia. No, it's wrong. We were wrong. It's 2019. That's now, people. Get your dahlias going. Get Ellen, em. you got any dahlias? Uh, no. I can use Nor some. Nor do I. I'm feeling like uh, we better get busy. Let's go eat some dahlias.